So I sorted out all my homework. Now I only have 10 overdues. And you know what? I drink to forget. Hell yeah. Oh, that's some good shit. So, today, we're gonna see if we can do as many of those overdues as possible. Oh gosh! And right now, I'm mourning the loss of my comb. It's, um, I lost it, and I just had a bath, so my hair's all disgusting and spidery. I mean, what is this shit? I'm starting a bit earlier today, it is... A it is a time on the clock. It is a certain amount. It is it is a certain period during the day, in which things happen. So during this period, I am going to do as much of my homework as possible. See you in a bit. So for homework, I have to get to chapter thirty-five of Jane Eyre. I'm still on chapter eleven from last week, so uh, that's absolutely great news. Uh, I need to um, re go over my drama character and uh, learn all the lines and everything for our. Um, for our play we're doing. For English, I have to describe how Ted Hughes represents relationships in his poetry. And for ethics, I have to make notes, um, review and recap the different moral systems, I do an essay on natural moral law, and for media, I have to do a question sheet, a glossary, uh, some BBC research, um, some media theorists research, and for ethics and philosophy, I just have to finish some unfinished essays, but that's more for a lesson as opposed to just homework that needs to be done. So, uh, I'm gonna have a busy night, but instead of pulling an all-nighter with coffee, I'm gonna put an all-nighter with Monster. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, let's get some work done. So, it's three hours later. What have I done? Well, I've gotten through four chapters of Dexter, and I was also reading Wizard of Oz on the side. Oh fuck. And I'm just about to open my second can of Monster. Isn't life grand when you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing? So I've got my pile of work and let's see if we can get through this before the night's done. Uh, to help me through this I've employed my second can of Monster. I should be dead by now, but I'm not. First things first, I'm just gonna read some streetcar named Desire because that's a thing for English, and I mean, look how light this is. I can finish this in, like, a, an hour. I've been reading it during my independence, and I'm actually enjoying it far more than I'm enjoying Jane Eyre. I just think Jane Eyre's, while it's written well, it's just not that interesting to me. So I'm just going to go through this in, like, half an hour. See ya. So, it is 5 past 1am. I just finished season 4 of the show Dexter. Do you know how much homework I've done? None. Why am I like this? I don't know, but eventually one day I shall find a cure or something, I don't know, maybe I can be put on pills or something that'll make me fucking focus on what I'm meant to focus on, instead of just pointlessly digressing onto random things. It's very frustrating actually, I'm just calm about it because I'm tired, which is my cue to make some coffee. I commonly find myself being frustrated with myself because I always, I never end up doing the right thing. I always end up ruining something for myself. Like, I, n nothing can ever just be maintained. I'm either breaking something or I'm losing it. Um, it doesn't sound very impactful, but I mean, there's anecdotes. I guess um, uh, the other day, I need more coffee in this. The other day I was, um, Walking and I dropped my comb, but I didn't hear it drop. Usually I hear it drop out of my pocket and then I pick it up, I go back and I pick it up. That day I, I didn't, I just forgot about it, I didn't notice it, so I lost my comb. That's why my hair is a mess. But um, I found myself getting angry at myself, not just myself, but a lot of the stuff around me too. I never directed it at anyone else, I usually try to keep it like self-aimed, uh, usually at my material stuff, which usually ends in me wasting a lot of money that other people spent on me, which makes me feel even worse about myself, which perpetuates this cycle of anger. So you bottle it up inside, and then you start taking it out on other people, and then you feel like the bad guy, because you are, but other people now hate you. Uh, and um, it's like, to me, it doesn't matter what I do, I always feel like I'm breaking something or, or ruining something else, and it's... It, it, it's very frustrating. It depends on what you consider to be breakage. I suppose what's dis considered uh, destructive is subjective, but in my opinion it's just... We're not here to talk about that. 
I mean, I suppose you are, but I can't get it. I just can't be bothered to get into it. I'm just, um, I don't feel, I don't feel happy with the way my brain treats me. I feel like my brain, my, 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 myself are two, two different people completely, if that makes any sense. Like, this is what I want to do and this is what I end up doing. I'll blame myself for it anyway, even though I know it's not something I would do. I know that doesn't that doesn't make any sense at all. But I just wish I could go one day without p annoying somebody or pissing myself off or breaking something or losing something or just generally messing things up. No matter what it is, nothing can just be consistently good for a week or a month. You know, even if I'm doing something casually, I'll fuck something up then somehow. If I, if I chuck my phone onto the, the stove, it'll bounce, it'll crack my glasses and, and fall onto the floor, maybe into a pint of water. The pint of water will tip all over the carpet, etc. That hasn't happened, but I imagine it will at some point. Nearly knocked a carton behind me. This is getting very depressing. I don't usually consider myself to be a, an individual that matters in terms of conversation or how one's feeling. If somebody's feeling down, they're the ones that matters, not me, in my opinion. I don't consider myself necessarily important in the grand scheme of things. I'm sure a lot of people are like that, but if somebody's listening to me right now and they're just like, oh, that's a bit weird, maybe just think a bit higher yourself, I've been told to. I even got told by my fucking grandma that 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 I need to up myself a bit and stop putting myself down. I think it's very obvious that I'm not exactly the most positive person towards myself, but I I, I just can't be positive. My brain is my brain's just not wired that fucking way. If if I try to be uh, positive, my brain will just go no, that's bullshit, and here's why. Here's some empirical fucking evidence why you're fucking wrong to ever try to be positive or optimistic or happy or or any of it. I mean, I'm sure other people feel like that. And I'd like to know how they get out of it, but whenever I have the inclination to search it, I, have, I, I usually just vent about it to other people like I'm doing right now, but I, I never actually search it. Like, why would anyone want to be with me? I'm awful company. I'm, I'm, I'm the worst. It's like... I mean, I'm not physically violent. I'm not. I'm not physically hurting them, but I'm as bad as I suppose. In my opinion, if 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 you hurt someone emotionally, that's wor a lot worse than physical pain. Because physical pain, you forget eventually what that feels like, and you can't replicate that based on memories or your own mind. But emotional pain, sometimes that never fucking leaves you. For example, say you had a really bad breakup, or something along those lines. You lost a family member etc. It's like, you don't ever just forget about that. You Sure, you can move on, but that, nothing's ever 100% okay. Like, it's always, it's always there, you know? And I feel like that's the impact. I'm worried that's the impact I might have on other people. And I couldn't just... The thing is, the problem is I couldn't just disassociate myself from all of my friends because I'm not... I'm so inescapably codependent on on other people just just because I don't even trust myself to be happy I can't be happy on myself it's always about distractions uh, TV writing alcohol uh, the like sleeping music you know and homework I suppose maybe that's what about it makes me happy when I'm actually doing it completing it not only is it that, that, that sense of accomplishment that I very rarely feel, but that sense of progression, that sense of productivity, the sense like I'm actually making a positive impact, that I'm doing something worthwhile, with, like, unlike every other time. But then I realise, oh, well, everybody else already does their fucking homework anyway, so I'm not special. I'm just somebody who struggles a lot more with it than they should, but that struggle isn't recognised. Like, I hand it in to the teacher. They don't know the stuff I went through to try to actually get that shit done. So, it's either I've got my homework or, oh no, I haven't, I'll give it to you this Friday, this Saturday, you know, this fucking, uh, oh, I'll give it to you over the fucking Christmas holidays. It's like, it's all they hear and you can't give them an excuse because 
they've heard them all, and they're not going to care, are they? Like, you just, and even if you do form an excuse, once they ask you, you're just like, oh, I don't have it, I'm sorry. I'm tired of disappointing people, but it's just all, it's all I seem to be able to, to do. I mean, I mean, I can't imagine anyone saying they're grateful for me, like, I, I, I think to myself a lot, I'm never, I, I, I'd never initiate this process, but I'd always think to myself, if I actually was, like, gone, who amongst my friends would, th like, how, how would, how would my, how would, how would everyone around me, like, react, you know? I'm sure everybody thinks about that kind of thing, uh, uh, to a certain extent, a certain way, you know? So I don't like to think I'm alone on that. I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm alone in that. So, um, I should probably get some work done. In all honesty, I sincerely hope the caffeine kills me before I have the opportunity to disappoint another person. Pajama, lions, I can do that anytime I've got... Uh, it's a, it's not a bookmark, it's a... It's the packaging for a comb. Uh, a spare comb mum got me, uh, the last spare after I lost the other one. Like an idiot. But yeah, I've got my ten overdues on here. Some of them date back to the end of bloody September. I think the first thing I need to do is the essays. I might just go to school early and do them then. Thing is, I never do. I just sit there and listen to music. Because I just can't focus. I can't make myself do anything. I don't know what makes me do it. Because I can't shame motivate myself. There's no guilt motivation. No will. No... Incentive, I suppose there is incentive if I don't do it, I get kicked out, but I don't feel it. I won't feel it until I get kicked out, and if I do get kicked out, then I'll know it's my fault. I feel like shit. I'll say, oh, well, I could have done something to fix that, even though I know, I knew in the moment that I, I just couldn't. It's, I'm just looking at this, this, this list. It's just these words that I'm not even processing them. And I just think, is any of this going to happen, is any of this going to work, I can say something, I can tell myself, I can promise myself, oh it's going to work, but it never fucking does, I think I'm becoming more superstitious, I always touch wood after saying something positive so I don't jinx it, touching wood doesn't exactly help on I love yous though, I think I'm, from now on I'm, I'm never saying that, f I'm never saying that fucking phrase ever again, because that's, that's usually the phrase that ruins everything. Maybe this video is going to be just as long as the other one, which is really annoying because I'm trying to make it shorter. But I suppose I just have a lot to say. I never stop talking. It's one of my biggest flaws, but it's also one of my biggest characteristics. wonder if I have any positive characteristics. So I've been thinking about um, the last few years, the last couple of years, and how I've never really hated anybody who's in my life. Like, since, like, in the last few years, I, I think hate is a very rational thing to hold for someone because there's always the whole forgive and forget thing because no matter what someone's done, that it's not completely reprehensible unless it's illegal, you know? But, like, if a relationship ends, you can still be friends, you can still keep in touch. I don't see why you can't. If you say something is stupid, surely you, surely you can't take it back, but eventually... They they can get you they can um deal with it or the slate can be wiped clean like there's no reason to hold a grudge for it I just feel like if you hold a grudge you're just carrying this hate with you just all the time and hate's a very unhealthy thing obviously but I've just realised that there's no one I actually hate more than myself and I feel like I'm the only person I hate you can look at a murderer or a serial killer or someone amongst those descriptions online or on the news and think, oh, I hate that person, I hate everything they stand for and I hate what they've done, but that's a different kind of hate. That's a, these people are morally reprehensible, unjustifiable, unjust, indecent and immoral, and it's a vi and their behaviour is just a violation against normality, against decency, but... When it's a personal matter, though you may not be a criminal, I don't really care whether I'm a good or bad person. I mean, I do. I care if other people think of me as a good person. I doubt they do. I, and if they do, it's probably because they don't know me well enough or I just hide it really well, which I don't. I'm a very open person. Not this open, but 
you can only harbor a certain type of hate for yourself and I think it's just because you know yourself so well and I think if you love someone else because they're similar to you it's because you know that if they're suffering from the same things you can then you can help them in a way you can't help yourself that makes you feel good about yourself but it also makes you feel good that you're helping them because it's not really a reflection of yourself but you're just helping somebody and it's somebody you care about I, I don't know what I'm talking about I just wouldn't know how to properly help because I know no one could properly help with how I'm feeling and I wouldn't want to be that person who tries and just spurts out the same cliches because there's nothing else to say that works better because everything that can be said has been said and has the effect it has and that's probably nothing it's all just ineffectual. It's five past two and I still haven't done a single bit of my homework. I haven't even read the fucking script. I just have no motivation for anything. And I can just already imagine the disappointed faces of the teachers, of the group. I'm letting everyone else down. But the teachers, they always give you that, that face that only a fucking teacher can give you, you know? And... Specific teachers, just the way they speak and the way they look at you, you can just tell they hate you. And you know that you can't justify that because even though it's just the way you are, there should be a way to help it, but there isn't. And if you tell them that, they just won't understand. And if they do, they're probably not a competent person because if they're feeling the same way you are, they're acting the same way as you and that's not beneficial for anyone. And I don't know why I'm projecting myself onto other people because that's not a good thing to do because nobody should be like me. I always tell myself that eventually I should just break the facade. But if, when I'm at school, before I even realise it, I'm, I'm putting on the energy and the, the happiness, and I don't realise it because I get stuck in it. And when I'm like that, I no control. What happens, happens. I'm the happy guy with a stupid jokes and the stupid laughs and the, and the and the dumb habits and you can't convey how you feel when when you're that kind of person you can't convey sadness when you're the kind of person i appear to be it it, it wouldn't come across as genuine i don't have the energy to do my work i might just go to sleep it's 2 30 so the best i'm gonna get is not even three hours I think this is a new low, even for me.